Hello world, it, it is Thursday, October 15th, and it's kind of a rainy morning this morning. Kind of overcast, supposed to get some rain today, and that's the second time this week, which is a good thing. I was speaking to um, Dory, our office manager, and her husband runs the granary, or the elevator in Oklahoma, and he was saying that they desperately, the farmers desperately needed some rain to uh, get the winter wheat started, otherwise there wasn't going to be a wheat harvest next year, so... Uh, this is much needed by them and it comes at an opportune time because i think they're just finishing up their um, harvesting of the corn and of the soy or cor corn still going on but i think soy is kind of wrapping up so uh, the rain is not interfering with that um, as much as helping with the wheat today i'm going to i'm going to depart from the ucc daily devotional and go to a devotional from Rise Up, Spirituality for Resistance, which is also written by the UCC Still Speaking Writers. And this one's entitled, Let's Get Salty, and it's written by Ashley Harness. And uh, Ashley bases the devotion upon, You are the salt of the earth, Matthew 5, 13. And, Matt, and uh, Ashley writes, Lately it seems like each morning I stumble out of bed to find a waking nightmare in the news. Sometimes I just want to hide under the proverbial blankets of my privilege instead of staying awake. I have just enough privilege economically as a white person, as a cisgender person, as a Christian, and as a citizen that I can temporarily hide. But that's not really what I want, and that's not what our gospel asks of us. In the book of Matthew, Jesus addresses another group struggling to live in faithful resistance to another empire. He tells them that those who act in the world as though the people and the communities abused by the powerful are blessed, they are the salt of the earth. While I wish Jesus gave us a quick fix to end empire that transcends time and place, he didn't. Instead, he offers us a way to sustain our resistance by calling us to be salt of the earth. Meditate on these ways ancient metaphor meets modern science to help us get salty. Salt transports nourishment, like oxygen, through our blood. How can you carry nourishment through our collective body? Salt is a collaboration of chemical ingredients, a molecular community that needs to bind together to function. To whom do you need to bind together to preserve your functional wholeness? Salt preserves. How can you, like salt-preserving fruit, soften your own thick and bitter rinds into something delicious? In Ashley's prayer. Salty one, as we wake to living nightmares, nourish us that we might nourish each other, bind us to your love, and soften our bitterness that we might be your salt for our world. Amen. Well, it seems that this fits, and I randomly picked this. I didn't try to find anything in particular, but kind of randomly picked this one. Um, and, it, and in a way, it fits with the theme that I've been going with all week, <clears throat> in a way, talking about um, how it is important to do things that help people, but it's even more important to try to do things that change the reason why they need help in the first place. And that's still very true. But to me, when I read this devotional, it also reminds me that um, sometimes doing that work is impossible. And the best we can do is just continue to resist and be a source of strength, a source of flavor, uh, a source of energy, uh, a source for trans being able to transport um, oxygen nourishment through our collective body. Uh, we may not be able to change <clears throat> the culture and the environment that we live in, but we can work to make it more livable and sustainable for a lot of people. So that's also important work to consider <clears throat> to do, <clears throat> to be the salt of the earth. It is what Jesus called good, and it is what Jesus called us to do, to be salt, to be leavening. <clears throat> to be an action that makes change happen 
and helps sustain others in their efforts and in their lives so they don't give up. So may you have a salty day and I will try to talk to you again tomorrow. And take care. Um, if you go outside, bring an umbrella or a raincoat. Just remember, as I preached, was it last week or the week before? <clears throat> There's no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong clothes. So take care. Talk to you soon.